Hi, I'm Sarah from My Montana Kitchen, and I'm the blogger at MyMontanaKitchen.com, where I help women overcome barriers to success, build healthy habits, and feed their family delicious, fail-proof recipes every single day of the week. I'm also a Pampered Chef Independent Consultant, and recently I posted a video on my Instagram stories of how I made yogurt in oh, the multi-cooker. And it is a multi-cooker, it has all sorts of functions, so I'm gonna share a little bit about that today. But this video is all about how to make homemade yogurt at home. It's so easy. We've been going through lots of yogurt because my teenage daughter especially is on a granola kick and she wants to have yogurt with her granola. So if I buy the sugar-free yogurt at the store, you know, like that has stevia or something in it, we're talking five, six dollars probably for uh, one container. So definitely much cheaper to make it at home. So that's what I've been doing. And I'm gonna show you just how simple it is. It's, there's not very much hands-on time at all. And um, it's a super easy way to make yogurt and make it the way you want to. You can add vanilla and sweetener to it. That's what I usually do. So we have vanilla yogurt. You can make it into Greek yogurt or you can eat it as is. There's all kinds of options. So we're gonna talk about those things today. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is measure some milk into the insert here and we're gonna put it on sear. So I'll show you that next. Okay, so I have measured eight cups of milk here and we're just gonna pour it in. And then we're gonna set this on sear, which it's already on sear, it's on low heat. So we're just gonna push the button to start it. Now, that's just gonna heat this milk and we're gonna heat it up until it's pretty warm. Um, you'll want to stir it a little bit every five minutes or so to make sure it's not sticking on the bottom. Okay, so it will take roughly 20 minutes for your yogurt to get to the right temperature. You want it to be about 180 to 185 <clears throat> degrees. So whenever it's reached that temperature, you want to let it cool down until it's about 105 to 110 degrees. So if you have a thermometer, definitely use a thermometer. Um, but here's something, I it will take a long time to cool down if you just leave it you know, in the multi-cooker because it's already hot. So I like to take um, the insert out. This is a bowl of water with ice and I just set it in there, all right? And then I stir it every little while and it should cool down in 10 minutes or so instead of an hour like it can take if you just leave it in the multi-cooker. So I'm gonna leave it here for a few minutes until it's cooled down again, like I said, to about 105, 110 degrees. And then I'm gonna add um, my starter, my, my culture starter, uh, which is all it is, is plain yogurt, okay? So this is some yogurt that I made um, earlier this week. And I'm just gonna take, after this cools down to the right temperature, I'm gonna take half a cup of this and I'm gonna mix it into the warm milk. Now, if your milk is too hot, it can kill it. Much like when you're making bread and your water's too hot, you can kill your yeast. Much the same way, if your milk is too hot, you can kill the yogurt culture. So you wanna make sure it's just warm, it's not hot. Again, if you have a thermometer, about 105 to 110 degrees is what you're looking for. So I'm gonna let it set for a few minutes um, and cool off and then we'll add the starter to it. Okay, so this has cooled down significantly. Um, it only took maybe six or seven minutes for it to cool down in the ice bath. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this out of the water. You want to make sure that you use a towel to completely dry off the bottom of the insert. You don't wanna be putting water um, down inside of your multi-cooker. All right, so we're gonna move this out of the way. All right, and just set it right into the multi-cooker. All right, so like I said, I have my yogurt here that I made earlier in the week. So I'm just gonna measure out half a cup and just 
put it right into the milk. Okay, then I'm just gonna use a whisk to make sure it's all mixed in really well. You don't add anything at this point, no sweetener or vanilla or anything, we add that at the end. Okay, now, that's all. I'm gonna put the lid on. Well, least ways I think I am. It helps if you try to, if you put it the right way. All right. Okay, so after the lid's on, all we're gonna do is turn this to the yogurt setting. Right here. It's gonna cook for eight hours um, on medium. I'm just gonna push start. That's all. Now the longer your yogurt sets in the in the multi cooker, the more tangy it's gonna be. So eight hours, it's not gonna be super tangy. So if you don't like store bought yogurt because it's too sour, then you need to try making homemade yogurt because it makes a big difference. Um, you can let it go up to 12 hours. If you like tangier yogurt, then up to 12 hours and it will be much more tangy. After your yogurt has finished culturing in your multi-cooker, you have a couple of options. I like to keep one container just plain um, in case I need it for another kind of recipe. And also you always want to keep a half a cup of your homemade yogurt to be the starter for your next batch of yogurt. And then the second one, I like to make it into vanilla yogurt. So how I do that is I just add sweetener and vanilla to it. That's really all it takes. I like to use the Trim Healthy Mama Pure Stevia. It's by far my favorite stevia out of all the ones I've tried. And there's a handy little measuring tool called a dunk, which is actually 1 32nd of a teaspoon. So I put some of those in there. Um, if I'm doing a full one, it would be more, this one's only about half, half full. And I do actually have a recipe on my blog for making vanilla, your own vanilla yogurt at home. So I will link that as well. But, and then I have just some pure vanilla extract from Costco. And I'll just add a splash of that. You can definitely add caramel um, flavoring. Um, you can add anything that you want, really. This is a good time to add fruit if you wanna have fruity yogurt. So, okay, there you go. Um, sweetened vanilla yogurt that you've made all on your own in your own home. If you want to have Greek style yogurt, because this is a little more on the runny side. Um, if you want to have a Greek style yogurt, you can use one of these fancy things like this. I used to have something similar to this um, and I got rid of it because I had stopped making yogurt. Of course, now I'm making yogurt again and it would be nice to have. So I don't know if I'll order another one or not. I'm fine with eating the yogurt this way. Um, but if you don't have one of those fancy gadgets, <clears throat> you can use a colander. And mine is busted because my daughter stepped inside of it for some reason, I don't know, when she was little. Um, but take like a cheesecloth or something and line it, pour the yogurt in it, set this over another, another bowl, and the whey will drain out. And then you can use the whey as like a replacement for buttermilk in recipes. You can put it in a soup, in a stew, whatever. It's good for you. Uh, so if you want to save that, you can, can do so. But that's how you can make it into a Greek style yogurt. All right, I would love to know from you guys, what's your favorite way to eat yogurt? Do you do yogurt bowls? Do you put it in smoothies? Do you freeze it to make popsicles? What's your favorite way to eat yogurt? And I just wanted to show you guys how simple it is to make it at home. You don't um, have to have a lot of, like I said, hands on time. And it, you can make it as mellow or as tangy as you would like it. So you have total control over that, as well as control over what goes in your yogurt. 
The yogurts we can buy in the grocery store sometimes have questionable ingredients or things that you would prefer not to be feeding your children or to be ingesting yourself. So it's a great way to, you have total control over it. All right, I'm gonna put the link down below also for the Pampered Chef Multi-Cooker if you're interested in that. Um, it is a great tool. Not only can it do yogurt, but it, it does meat and uh, beans and rice and it has um, all different kinds of functions on it. So I'll put the link there as well. All right, let me know in the comments what's your favorite way to eat yogurt.